Ci sono! No sunlight reaches where you are going. May you bathe in serpent skins. Your name? Fraunhort. Quick the dead, whatever it may be, is stained forever. My name is Horsa. I left silver in the mouth of my home. Please say that it is spent well and frivolously. Guide me. <laughs> How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrid, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Do to sex and God's place. We pillage. Pillage! <laughs> <laughs> 
The Lady of Essex is ours! I am ready when the time comes. I'm being kidnapped! Kidnapped! Go! Go! You're coming with me! Oh, oh, this is you, foul Dane! Guards! Oh, woe unto me! Put me down! Odin's feared. You wouldn't fool a child with a howl. Unhand me, fiend! Guards! Guards! We are safe enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Evo. You can stand against Alfred's brutes, but you shudder at a maiden's gentle teasing? It is done, and all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Beerstens will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead! Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. Thor's thunderous hammer! I should find Beerston. No doubt he's hunting again. Yes! <laughs> A ruse worthy of the trickster Loki. I am proud of us. We did a good thing for Estrid and her lord. Maybe now we can all be happy. Yes! <laughs> Made me feel young again. And I have you to thank. You believed me, though I was a coward. Won't make that mistake again. Mortals. What lies ahead, I wonder? A new life, or an old life renewed. My old life, Francia, 
Mon Dieu, I feel as if I have been sleepwalking these past years, waiting for something to shake me awake. Are you awakened now? Yes. These past weeks have been stirring, breathtaking. Your passion and strength. Eivor, I've never met such a burning soul. You make too much of it. All I've done, I did for my clan and the glory it brought me. Why does your honesty make you more alluring still? Le cœur a ses raisons que la raison ne connaît point. Did you dream while you sleepwalked? I did. I dreamed that all my fleeting happiness was a prelude to something bigger. Glimpses of greater joy, greater love. Lie with me, Eivor, under the stars of England. Give me a last bittersweet moment before I leave her shores. I'll be with you tonight. But tomorrow your new life must begin. I hope you won't look back. Shh. Still your lips. And come here. of the trickster Loki. They're even... Show me. There, there, old hound. Hold f Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart. You who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! What are we hunting now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebold. How wondrously strange! 
Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alveda's honor. A feast for your mistress? Birsten, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas, will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. Survey the area, Sunan. Come on, the feast table won't fill itself. Suck the scrumptious marrow from the bones, you porcine devil! Come on, the feast table won't fill itself! Look at that fat hog! He'll make a delicious roast! <laughs> Self. A good hunt, Beston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I've been nothing but amused. They are a welcome change to warring yarls and piss-sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beeston, the heart hound, who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ.
What are your plans for Essex and your family? There is much that is new in this old fling. Alvida is changed. The girl I fell in love with lies behind years of hardship. And Elleridge? A soft lad, but... Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already, you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> For the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet. A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that Lamish shadow play. Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still, his wife freshly stolen, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never. <laughs> my lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Hush, Angel. Do not fret, sir. He hates me! Oh. What have I done? Are you leering at me, Lord? Your Bearstons, High Dane, do not think what you did went unseen. Yet tell me one thing. Is Estrid safe and happy? She's happy. That much I know. Good. Now leave. And if we meet again, you will fall by my sword. Estrid should have ruled this land. I would have followed her anywhere. <laughs>